<laughs> hey y'all uh, this, this is a video I've been waiting for For a long time This is a long awaited video And I'm just I'm glad to go be able to put this out here Right now Alright I'm I'm glad to be able to To put this spotlight on this So that people can see this Alright And this this ain't finance related But this But this is finance related at the same time This is why I tell people To focus on building your own And having your own And having a business And having your life together Outside of a job Even if you have one by choice Don't let that be your final Ever do not have something of your own. All right, now I want you guys to to watch this video and listen to the listen to this right here. At the age of twelve years old, I shot myself. I was in the house. Mm. Police knocked on the door. I was right there. They knocked the door down. Everybody jumped over my body to go get the guns and drugs and whatever they could find. It took one guy to stop right So I want, I want y'all to listen to this So he said at 12 years old He shot himself in the chest And the police run in And they're running to grab the guns And the drugs But they're not checking on him As a 12 year old Who just shot himself in the chest Now listen to this Because this last part of the story Is the important part That y'all need to carry with you Cuss everybody that hopped over me out. Like, what the fuck are y'all doing? I said, Oh, no, no, no. We was going to see if it. What the fuck are y'all doing? We called the ambulance. A f an ambulance, do you not see this kid on the floor with this hole in his chest? I said, You, you drive. <laughs> Pick me up. Brought me to the hospital. He didn't drop me off at the ambulance and say, You take him. He brought me to the hospital room and made two and stood there and waited. To the doctor said he's gonna he's gonna make it. He said, "Don't worry, my name's Uncle Bob." He was white as snow. The motherfuckers that hopped over me was blacker than me. Was he a cop? Yeah, he was a cop, and my life was saved by a white man. I don't know what racism is. Boom, Good bingo. Name Uncle Bob, though. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right, now. Today, I received a letter. Funnily, this letter was post dated because it actually was was dated for last week, uh, literally a week from today. Now, I received this letter <laughs> from from my boss, a black male, stating that he will not be recommending me for renewal for my contract, aka I am fired. At, at the end of this month Okay Once my contract is up He's not renewing it Alright Now This is a man who From day one Has came in With a personality Flaw A man who feels As though he has to be power driven And run over everybody And control everybody And mistreat his employees So from the day that he came I saw this. I saw this personality flaw. I already saw it in him. You know, I I saw it. I asked him multiple times for the whole year. Hey, I need this. Can you do this for me? Something that's only going to take you an hour of your time. Not one day could he take out the time to do it. Actually, one of the first conversations I had with this man, his statement. Was I just can't wait to fire somebody <laughs> With the inclination that somebody was me So I knew this was coming So I've been preparing I've been building up my business I've been building up my other streams of income Until now I'm actually making more money outside of my job Than I was making at my job So Quitting or being fired wasn't an issue. I was just continuing to do it on a daily basis because it's something that I like to do. All right. Now, <laughs> this is just so funny to me because in the months that I asked for this assistance that, like I said, would only take a hour maximum out of this person's life, they could not do it. 
within two weeks of asking a Caucasian supervisor, a white woman, it was completed, filed off to the state, everything done. However, this African-American man could not do anything to help me, according to him. Then, as I sit on a board of four people of his choice, his choosing, that was supposedly sent down to him by his superiors, (laughs) quote-unquote, superiors and and based upon what his jargon was, because I didn't care in this meeting, because I already knew what the meeting was about, but I just wanted to be present so that you could actually do it, so that you could actually get the joy that you've been waiting for all year. Since you've been wanting to fire me all year since day one, I'm glad. I wanted to give you that opportunity, and I'll face it like a man and smile in your face, because that's what I did. Most people get fired, they freak out, they cry, they cry, they do all these things, they want to ask a million questions, I ask no questions. Here's the paper, where do I sign? Thank you, have a nice day. All right, the paper's right here. All right, have a nice day. Now amongst this board, I'm sitting on a board with two Caucasians and two African Americans. And amongst this board that I'm sitting in front of, I give credit, the African-American woman asked a question to assist me. Like I said, the Caucasian woman was the one who assisted me from the beginning. But the white man was the only one who brought up anything directly towards me having employment and seemed truthfully concerned for me having employment following this school term ending. And this is what I try to tell everybody all the time. Skin folk ain't kin folk. Just because people look like you Even if they are your relative, it does not mean that they're going to look out for your best interests or care. This man doesn't care if I have kids. He doesn't care if I have a family to support. He doesn't care about any of that. He saw a threat and he wanted to capitalize on it. How do you fire someone without any logic behind it? How do you terminate someone without any disciplinary action? Nothing leading up to it besides the fact that you don't like me because I tell you how it is. So, yes, terminate it with no disciplinary action. Terminate it with no explanation by a black male as a black male. Why? Because they fear your intelligence, they feel, fear your capabilities, they fear your skill, and they will do anything to make themselves come out on top and make themselves look better when you're dealing with these type of people. Ruthless, uncaring, unkind people. So I just want you guys to take that with you, is to work with the people who work with you and care about you and please stop looking at people of other races as though they are the enemy when a lot of the time they can be your savior now in this particular situation i personally don't need to come back next year because i prepared for this from day one because i saw it coming However, had I needed it, I would have had the backing and the support, not by the person who, quote unquote, looks like me, but by the person who did not, by the person on the other side of the table who looks nothing like me, but cares and has a heart and realizes 
the system and the flaws in the system and the things that are wrong in the system. Remember that. And remember every day when you go to your job that it is not promised that you will have it the next day. Purely because people see you as a threat. Because people don't like you. Because people have preconceived notions of you that they get from other people and decide that they want to treat you accordingly. Purely because you will not allow yourself to be ran over and mistreated for money. If you're being mistreated for money, it's time to work your way out of that system and get yourself into being a boss and being your own boss and get yourself away from the pessimist of this world. So as always, thank you guys. But I I really just wanted you guys to, to see this and see the reality. I'm not even going to be nasty enough to show this, this man's name or put any of that information out there. You know, um, I, I feel bad for the students and the staff members and the other people who are going to be affected by things like this. Because, like I said, fired without explanation. And this happens to other people. This is not just a me thing. This happens to other people. Fired without explanation. When you have a family to feed and you have other stuff going on in the world. You have other stresses and things to worry about. Fired without explanation. Because people don't care. All they care about is themselves. And I really, really, really never wish anything bad upon anybody. But I do know that this is not right i have a backup plan i have a plan b i already have it going for me i'm already profiting off of it not an issue for me however i feel bad to anybody else who this is happening to who doesn't and who truthfully had faith in their job and in in this system that's set up against you and anyone working for such demons. So with that being said, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for tuning in. But I, I had to get this out and, you know, make sure that everyone sees this. So you understand why I push starting your own business, starting your own hustle and getting out of working for other people. So thank you all. I'll see you guys.